I think that today's ceremony and MOU signing marks a convergence of the key elements that will make Ghana an automotive assembly and component manufacturing hub. First is the participation of OEMs, Origin Equipment Manufacturing, which are global, the leading global manufacturing firms who have validated our policy and incentive framework for the automotive sector by investing in Ghana. The second is the strong local participation in the investment by companies such as Kia, which also have validated our automotive policy as essential for their investment requirements and their future growth. Third is the dealerships arrangements that ensures that when vehicles are assembled, it gets to market. And I'm talking about dealerships, including the local distribution channels that will also pick up used proudly made in Ghana vehicles. This convergence in these last few weeks, we have also strengthened this convergence by launching the Ghana Automotive Code, which represents 25 vehicle standards for new vehicles and used vehicles. This at least takes us a notch higher in ensuring vehicle safety, in ensuring that we are, we, are, we, are, we are implementing the global standards in vehicles. Ladies and gentlemen, we must also take this opportunity to thank the pioneering effort of Rana Motors GIZ and Bosch in starting WAVA. That was even in the very early days of the launch of the automotive policy. So it also demonstrates foresight in commencing to build the skills base of this country. I would like our OEMs to engage with us and think through how we can build a testing facility that ensures that the standards we set are religiously kept, strictly kept and enforced. It's very important, especially as the industry moves to a more IT-based and electric mobility. South Africa has training facilities, five training facilities for the industry. So you cannot even have enough training facilities in this country. The most important thing is that the training facilities also set a standard and ensure that we are all preparing for the market and how the market Evolves. We are honored and privileged that Kia Corporation has chosen to support our existing academy with automobile technical training to help improve the required skills and capabilities of technicians who will have the opportunity to undergo training at the WAVA facility situated here at Rana Motors. The idea of WAVA, the West African Vehicle Academy, started five years ago with three sponsors, Rana Motors, GIZ, and Bosch. And in 2020, in the summer of 2020, we started the, uh, giving the trainings. It has been a long journey for us, and we believe we've achieved a lot in the last few years. The objective was to offer technical training programs on the use of, of, of the state-of-the-art diagnostic equipment and software training of technicians across different vehicle manufacturer and to use these professionally. Since its inception, the Academy has offered training in both theoretical and practical application on the workshop floor, classroom, and hands-on training. Several technicians and trainers from service partners and other car makes have benefited immensely. WAVA continues to offer extensive range of technical training modules, basic and advanced, to ensure trainees and businesses have a competitive edge in the car service sector. It is important to mention that WAVA is well positioned to handle the tools, equipment and training materials to be provided by Kia Corporation under this partnership as it is currently a functioning facility with expert trainers 
high-tech equipment and the space to get things rolling without any delay. Today, as we know, cars are becoming more and more electrical. The automotive went through different eras from the pure mechanical to the electromechanical, and now it is going more and more towards the electrical era. And for us, we believe that when we started this training facility a few years ago, we believed that we had a lot of training to be done so we can go out of the mechanical era, joining the electromechanical era. If we don't do that, we will never be able to reach with our technical expertise to handle the fully electrical era that is coming. Today, cars are becoming more and more electrical. Technological advancement and design is fast-paced an, at an unprecedented speed in the auto industry. Talk about self-driven cars and electric cars beginning to fill up the space of human-driven cars and fossil fuel vehicles. We are in a new era and the emerging automotive technologies are closing in on us here. We in the industry here cannot wait. Ghana cannot wait. This is why we are happy with the initiative of Kia Corporation to partner Rana Motors to help equip our local technicians, students, and players in the auto industry to be abreast with the transformational development of upcoming vehicle types and to function efficiently in the maintenance of advanced high-tech vehicles. We at Rana Motors, we are committed and look forward to working with the team of From Kia Corporation to ensure that together we meet the objectives of this project. This MOU symbolizes a significant step towards our shared commitment to the advance of technology expertise in Ghana. The primary purpose of this MOU is the facilitation and enhancement of technical training and skill development. Gear Corporation has pledged its support to Rana Motors, providing essential technical training tools and training vehicles. This commitment underscores Gear's dedication to the nurturing of skilled workforce in Ghana, ensuring top tier services to Gear customers at the end. In tandem, Rana Motors agreed to make significant contribution to the development of technical talent in Ghana by operating a delicate technical training facility, WABA, Rana Motors will create environment where employees can acquire the necessary skills and knowledge to excel in automotive industry. More importantly, Rana Motors contributes to the development of Ghanaian society by planning and operating an industry academic cooperation program for the Ghana government and public education institutes. I believe this MOU isn't just about Gear Corporation and Rana Motors, it's about the people of Ghana, the future workforce and promise of brighter tomorrow. Let me briefly introduce the items that GIA donates to WAVA. GIA is donating one unit of EV6, which is crossover utility EV, providing advanced experience based on the differentiated styling and utilities. GIA is also donating one unit of Sorento Hybrid, which is mid-size SUV to assist in a variety of activities and provide equal and greater space efficiency. GIA is donating one unit of Smart Stream diesel engine, which is third generation diesel engine featuring new technology. Moreover, GIA is donating one unit of the EGMP drive system, which integrates the motor and reducer. GIA is donating three kinds of transmission, each one unit of seven-speed DCT, eight-speed DCT, and IVT. 
Gear is donating basic tools for EV training and two units of VR devices for the preparation of the EV. Those items will be used not only for EV technicians at Rana Motors, but also for Ghana government and public education institutes. I would like to express my gratitude once again to Ghana government and public education associations for their participation in this ceremony as witness. Your presence not only adds significant weight to this collaboration, but also reinforces its importance. I sincerely appreciate your continued support and engagement in this vital endeavor. For more news, please visit our website graphic.com.gh or follow us on Facebook at Daily Graphic and on YouTube and Twitter at GraphicGH. Subscribe now.